Hi, I'm going to show you how to add images into your Joomla platform using HWD PhotoShare. Once you've uh, installed the component and logged into your administration panel, you log you you log you go into the components section and click on HWD PhotoShare. It'll come up with uh, its uh, home page where you can see how many images you have. Um, how many members, how many albums you've got in your website. Uh, so it gives you a brief statistics and also some information about the component over here. <coughs> so what we'll do first, because you can do quite a lot of stuff with the PhotoShare program, what we'll do will first of all create an album, uh, create some categories and also upload uh, an image onto your website for you to see. So let's start off with creating categories. So you click on categories over here at the top on this page you'll be able to see all categories that you have on your website uh, so at the moment you can see there's summer 2010 and there's also football um, so let's so go and create another one <coughs> click on new and uh, here you can choose if there's a if this new category is going to be part of a parent category so let's say this is going to be part of football or summer uh, but we'll say we'll just this will just be an event so we'll just name this events and we can put brief description images of our events and over here you can select if it's published if you want it to be visible for the user straight away or if it's something that you were still working on um, and then you can also choose access level if it's visible for everybody or only registered users of your website and if you want to arrange a thumbnail for the category uh, so you can say so it looks nice on your website you can upload an image so click on browse choose an image of your computer and click on upload. Once you're happy with the category you click on save which is up here in the top right corner. So here you can see the categories that we have now. So we've got football, summer and events and uh, let's say I don't want to display or I want to disable one of the categories all I need to do is just tick on, tick on this box here and a red cross should come next to it as you can see there and that category will no longer be visible on your website so rather than deleting the whole category I can quickly enable and disable the category to be displayed on the site <coughs> next what we'll do let's have a look at some albums so you can go to albums and uh, here it'll display a list of albums that you have on your website for the for the users to see uh, so at the moment you can see there's two albums there's World Cup and there's football again you can quickly disable and enable by clicking by clicking on the tick box there and you can also set if this album is a featured album so it needs to be displayed at the top of, of all the pages so you can select that uh, you can turn that box into that cross box into tick so let's upload a, um, an image and also create an album first of all so what we do do you see this upload photos link here you click on it this will direct you through to your home page of your website and ask you to log in again so let's log in using your username and password once you've logged in you'll be able to upload images um, to an album so if there's an album already there see so at the moment you can see there's football there's world cup 2010 um, but let's if I want to create a new album so what you do is go to your photos at the top right corner and uh, click on here create album to create an album is quite straightforward you just enter some details in so we enter the title of the album so we can call it um, events album or our events give it some description images of our events this year and we can assign it to a category so we'll assign it to the events category <coughs> so in the event or maybe we can call this as a Christmas Lim Xmas events party. So a Christmas party is an event which it will be an album and that album will be under the category of events. Again you can choose some sharing options if you want to allow comments or you want to allow users to rate it, we'll just click no no and we'll click on add album. <coughs> so the album is now created and you should be able to see your album over here there is Xmas Pods. there's no photos in there as of yet uh, because we still need to add some photos that's how you create albums and if I want to delete an album just 
hit delete button there or if I need to edit an album so there's this album that's here uh, which says World Cup 2010 it was created on the 2nd of December I just click on edit album and I'll be able to edit the name what category it's in give it some tags um, I can even organize some photos or I can hit the delete button and it will be deleted so let's just go back to our albums <coughs> and let's add some photos to our Christmas party album that we've just uploaded so you click on add photo now when you click on that JavaScript will run on your browser if you've got that enabled so to run the application you do need JavaScript and um, a template will load up where you, you can upload and quickly choose images from your computer um, rather than uploading an image one at a time so we'll click on desktop and I've got an image here which is this one here so to add an image either just drag it and drop it to the bottom bit or you click the plus button at the bottom there and oh, add all the images that you want over here and uh, once you're happy with everything and the images that you want click the upload button <coughs> this will upload the image onto your web server for you to add some information on so let's give this image a title um, xmas party, yes, party, party time uh, give it a tag we call it um, Xmas and you can give a caption if you want we'll leave the caption blank <coughs> once you're happy with adding the image just click on save so this will save the image and uh, that's done you click on your photos and now you should be able to view the images in, in the album so if I click on album and there it is the image we've just uploaded and uh, you could, there it is it's just popped up in the uh, pop-up box <coughs> so that's the users will be able to see your image so you can add as many images as you want if you need to delete an album again you've got the delete button there you can add again you can want to add some maybe give a different name um, change the tag or organize images so you can just quickly do that once you've um, completed everything you just need to save all the changes and uh, you can log out of your control panel and that's about it that's how you add images using the HWD Photoshop program uh, which also has additional features uh, for use to register on your site and also upload their own images um, which you can enable at the moment uh, those features have been disabled uh, for the demonstration purpose um, and I hope you found this uh, useful thank you